family, we have been overwhelmed with outpourings of support from the Lexington community and beyond concerning our brother's murder. Although many of you have wondered what is the next step, we have been emotionally unprepared until now to give a public statement. After witnessing the love shown by the community in all three separate memorial services for Kwame, we now believe that it is the time to come forth and ask the community for more help. Kwame has a fiance who is still dealing with the reality of his absence. Two parents who are still alive, six sisters who are still hurting, and three children who will never again feel the love of their father. People continue to ask us what they can do to help. We appreciate the cards, the monetary donations, and the kind words. However, there is nothing more important at this point than information to bring about justice. Unfortunately, we live in a community that often lives in fear or praises silence. However, this is not the time to remain silent. By all accounts from everyone we have heard from, Kwame was simply sitting in the park watching a basketball game. He was known for supporting community events, and on this day, the first day of the summer dirt bowl, he was front and center supporting our youth. It was only by the grace of Allah, or God, that he had not brought his children to the park that Father's Day. As it stands, someone's wanton disregard for human life resulted in the death of an innocent bystander. Kwame's fiance will never know him as a husband, his children no longer have a father, and we no longer have a brother, and my parents no longer have a son. Kwame's death, quite simply, was a murder committed in broad daylight with many, many, many witnesses. And so we are asking the community for any help. Please contact the Lexington Police Department with any and all information. We encourage any information, no matter how insignificant you might think it may be.